online lessons, hybrid lessons, chances are that at some point you're going to want to write on a whiteboard. I'm going to look at a cheap and small writing tablet or drawing tablet that you can use for your lessons. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now today we're going to be looking at some hardware. Now the drawing tablet I'm looking at today is a small drawing tablet by XB Pen. Now this is the Star G640. Now you'll find the link in the description below. This is not a sponsored video or anything, but this is a small drawing tablet I've been using for a number of months now. Now I've used it during online lessons and I'm also using it during hybrid lessons because as you can see, the size of this tablet, it's 16 centimeters by 10. So it's perfect to just pop into your bag and carry with you. Now it connects to your device using a USB cable. Now, this very small cable is included with the box. Now that's probably one of the negatives is that I find this cable a little bit short. However, it is compatible with other USB cables. So if you have other cables lying around, you can simply use those to connect your tablet to your laptop or computer. Now, why might you want to do this? Well, I'm going to demonstrate this on the computer in a minute, but having a writing tablet really helps to not only focus on that handwriting or quickly sketch out some ideas, but it also lets you, for example, during maths lessons, it lets you quickly write down as if you were in front of the class using an interactive whiteboard or a big whiteboard. Using it this way not only allows you to project it during an online lesson, but it also lets you project it on your main whiteboard in the classroom, as well as present that tab to those students that are at home. Because as we all know, some of our students will be joining virtually, others are in person. And so I wanted to highlight the XB Pen G640 tablet. So let's connect it and let's see what it does on the computer. Now, before we connect it to our computer, let's have a quick look at the box. Now you can see it's a very small box and in the box, it comes with the USB cable. We have our tablet itself and it also comes with this pen. Now, the great thing about this stylus is that it does not require to be charged or it doesn't have a battery and it simply works out of the box. Now inside the box, you also have a couple of tips that you can then replace if you need to, or maybe you've used it so much that it's worn out a little bit. There are plenty of extra tips in the box. It comes with a button. There's two buttons at the top. And what those buttons are for, I'll show you on the computer. So let's go ahead and connect our tablet. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some space. I'm going to place the tablet next to my laptop and connect the USB cable. So here we have our USB cable. We're going to connect that. Sadly, this is not a USB-C connection, which would be even better, but at this price point, I'm not complaining at all. We're going to connect it into our side USB connection of the laptop, and now we're good to go. From now on, this is recognized by my laptop. If I wanted to click or simulate that click, all I have to do is just tap down with the pen. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a new drawing. I'm going to tap and I'm in that new drawing. And as you can see, it's very responsive and it also allows for input of different brushes. Now, if you are using a digital painting program, as I'll demonstrate in a minute, then this XP Pen tablet will allow up to 8,192 levels of pressure. And that means that you can already start adding a lot of detail to your drawings right from the get-go. Now, here I am using the Google Canvas Chrome app, and this is something I use a lot during my lessons because it's just a simple, easy to use whiteboard and I can present the tab and everyone can see it. So here you can see, I can quickly change colors by simply tapping. There we go, and we're good to go. I am now just scribbling onto my screen. Now, why might I do this? Well, here's an example of an activity we had with our younger students. We read some storybooks and one of the characters was called Scribbles. And Scribble is an illustration made entirely out of scribbles. And so as I was reading the story, we drew a picture of Scribble and we added our own text bubble to that. And so the children all joined along with paper and with a pencil and they all drew their own scribble. Now, because I was doing both the in-person and digital lesson, I did not want to use just pen and paper, film it with a webcam. So this was the perfect solution for that. So here you can see it allowed me to draw that image digitally and then also share it with our students. 
Now, another example could be maybe you're reading a book, say that you're reading Slime, David Walliams book, excellent book. You're reading the book and now you want the students to add their own illustrations. Well, as you are reading through the chapters of this book, maybe you get to a chapter, you spot an illustration you like, well, you quickly scribble that down. And again, you're demonstrating how to draw certain things or how to illustrate words that are being read during a lesson. Now using this tablet is really super easy. And as you can see, using a simple drawing app, that's only just the beginning. We can also use more advanced apps. So for example, here I have Krita. Krita is a digital drawing app, open source, available on Windows. And this will allow you to draw more detailed pictures. For example, here in Krita, I'm going to use the two buttons on the pen now. So I'm going to use the lower button, I'm going to press that down and then tap. And this brings me into the right click menu. Here I can select any of these brushes. So let's go ahead and select this brush. There we go. We'll set the opacity to say about 40. And let's just quickly draw onto our page. As you can see, it's got a good response there. And the colors really mix nicely. There we go. We can just add to that. Let's say I want to change the brush one more time. I'm going to again, click that button, tap. And now I can choose a different brush. Let's go with that one. Okay, we're going to just lower the opacity, maybe make the size a bit smaller. Okay, let's just airbrush these edges away. There we go. And as you can see, you can really add the detail by just using that drawing tablet instead of having to use your trackpad. So this is incredibly useful and great for beginners, very affordable. And if you are a teacher looking for something to really upgrade your whiteboarding experience or maybe your drawing and online teaching, then I would highly recommend looking into the XP Pen Star G640 tablet. And that's my brief overview of the XP Pen G640. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.